Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back. I almost said Red Dead Online. Welcome back to Planet Zoo. I hope everyone is having a wonderful night. And we're back, and we are currently in franchise mode, which allows us to create uh, an entire zoo from scratch. So I was actually messing around with building our entrance, and um, I got a, a couple ideas going. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want to build out... Uh, this part here. I'm not 100% sold on what I've been doing because I can't find a good pillar yet. Uh, but I imagine as we continue to play and put things in, we'll figure out good ways of doing all the things that we want to do. But today I do plan on actually getting um, the, the lion pen started and stuff like that. So we got to figure out how to... or what exactly we're going to do with all of this land that we've got Missed the first one, but here for this one. What's going on, Jason, Matt, Spar, Grimace, Ginger Bee in the house? Oh, yeah, I'm working on making the entrance, and I, I think we're getting kind of close to what I want to do. Um, so I can go into group edit mode here. I really wanted, like, a good pillar here. Um, we got a couple different columns here. Uh, I was hoping there would be a fatter one, but they seem to all be the same size, but with different lengths. And I don't know if it looks really great. We'll give it a shot here again real quick. Well, that's a plaster column. No, we want... Um, what is this? Limestone? Yeah, limestone pillar. There we go. We want one of these bad boys. Hey, what's going on, Raider? How you doing? Glad to see you here. And then we can just continuously add on to this building and make it as super fancy as we can. Uh, but I figured what we would do is, as we build our zoo, we'll, like, decorate and add things on as we go. I mean, I guess that doesn't look too terrible. We do need to, however, make sure it's centered. Maybe. There we go. If I do that, and then maybe I can add on this to it to make it look a little bit better. Not so bad. And then we can do another one down here. Yeah, that's not too terrible. I actually kind of like that. And then we can select all of these things. And then duplicate it. And then, oh god. Hoping it would stay on the same angle. But clearly I was mistaken. home. Yes. Go. Do it. You know you want to go exactly where you're supposed to be. And then we'll do this. I don't know, what do you guys think about that so far? As far as the entrance goes. Build and buy. Not too terrible. I don't know, we got a lot of experimenting to do. But I figure what we would do is... I want to put the lion area... Like, right in here somewhere. Um, I'm thinking maybe, like, right up there. And we can terraform the land and everything like that. And get that cooking. So let's just duplicate this again real quick. If we can get another one of those slapped in down, like I saw. And duplicate it again. Oh, come on. You know you want to... You know you want to go in there. Yes. Something like that. Almost. And it needs to come out a little bit. And we're good to go. Okay, anyways. Yeah, we'll mess around with that a little bit more. But what's going on, Colum, Apex, Hades? Welcome back. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And, um, yeah, let's get rolling with this. That's kind of the front of it. And then we can duplicate this. And I'll kind of show you guys what I got planned here. So if we... Things it out of this. And we got the whole thing selected there, right? We should be able to... I don't want to duplicate it yet. Not until we got it fully, <laughs> at least one side built. Because then we can duplicate it and make like an archway and stuff like that. Which is kind of the plan of what I had going on. We could do like a limestone half arch. And then... Plan was... You bring this bad boy out here like so. Then we got to rotate it. And put right about here. 
Bring it down a little bit. And maybe up a little bit. And there we go. I think that'll be okay. Leave it there. <laughs> it's perfect! That's the whole entrance. This game is cl it's in closed beta right meow. Due to the... Um, Where's this one piece end? That ends there. That ends there. So this piece does need to go. Needs to go up to here. Kind of hard to tell when it's not all group editing together. Oh, my Lanta. Messed it up again! All right, it's X to do that. That's better. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. And then I was going to build a nice big archway going across. What's going on, Vex? How are you doing? Loving all the streams you do, no matter the game. They're entertaining. Well, I do hope everyone finds this one entertaining. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more on this entrance, because this is going to be, you know, the first thing people see when they enter our zoo. Now, i got to find a good roof, uh, which might pose a little bit of an issue. Actually, you know what? That's... Uh, that's pretty close to what I want. If we get a little rotation action going on. Oh, God, I lost it. Gone. No, I didn't want asphalt roof. Where'd it go? It was perfect. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. It was so pretty. Is it this? Corrugated roof? I guess we're gonna go with that. Gives us a little bit of something something. Wonder if I could have changed the color of it. I wanted sloped roofs with this, but you have to have it as a flat roof for some reason. Yes. <laughs> Whoops. Now this bad boy needs to go and huh. Probably should have put that down first, huh? Butter my butt and call me a biscuit. You go in there, please. Like I saw. Yes. Now we can find out if we can colorize that roof or not. So what do we got here? Double pitched one meter. We changed the color of you. You're terrible. Oh. Uh, excuse me. That is not where you should go. In what world? In what world? Does that make any sense? Fine. Fine. You want to play that? Oh, no. Oh, okay. I guess you do want to play this game. <laughs> the story of my life. Fine. I'll put you down here then. Play this game with me. Then we'll bring you up. Rotates. Oh, you poop. Go away. Bye. Rotate. There we go. I'll figure this out. I'll get my life together. It's been a hot minute since I've played, like, any of these... Any of these games. It's just a matter of time before I get a hang of the building. And then once that happens, we're going to build the best things in the history of things. I guess it kind of fits. Definitely doesn't look 100% right. Good enough for government work, they say. Try and do me like that. Mm -mm. I will place you regardless. Perfect. Okay. Um, there we go. Now it's all together. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay. So let's figure out where we want to put the, uh, the main building here in a moment. want to duplicate this bad boy. Oh, look at that. Did it snap? That was cool. Down there. Like a so. Uh, but I do hope everybody enjoys this stream. We're going to be doing a lot of building today. 
Um, so you're probably going to have to bear with me being absolutely dumb when it comes to the building for a few minutes. Until we get everything squared away. Aaron Biggs! Welcome to the or welcome to the community. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I do greatly appreciate the support. Working out almost splendidly. Ooh, if you would snap on top of that, I would love this game forever. Does that look right? Ah, almost. So close, yet so far away. Actually, I know a better way of doing this. I do want to make sure that these are all grouped up. I don't think it's counting everything as one structure yet. Counting those as part of the structure? It's not. Hmm. Figure that out. We'll have to figure Tate something for that. Oh, Shane, thank you and welcome. The building seems te tedious. It's meant to allow you to be incredibly creative. Now, the problem is um, being creative. <laughs> okay, so we got a bunch of stuff in here. Obviously, the really cool thing is actually going into the Steam Workshop and stuff, but for some reason, I'm not connecting to the Steam Workshop. Maybe that's something we should figure out here in a second. Um... Let's get some facilities in here. We need some staff facilities. We need to do a research center. But what I want to do is at the entrance here, we'll make a pathway and we'll do a staff only path. And we'll make it go like, oh geez, hello stairs. That is not what I meant to do. No, 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 no. Ah! Everything's fine. All part of the plan. And then we're going to make a, like, a little uh, keeper area over here. Where we can put in some of the things, some of the mandatory buildings. To get stuff going. Uh, and the nice thing about this is now we can now align them to grids. We can make like a squared off section, which is uh, pretty cool square the edges like so and set up the things that we need to set up in here. I think they're all like one square wide. And now the uh, the crazy people can't come hang out in here. So we need a research stall. Oh god. Did I not make that Great. Sweet baby Jesus. I didn't. It's like all cockeyed. How <laughs> did that happen already? A staff room? Well, they probably need that, huh? Does it need to be connected to anything special, like? Is there a front? Of the staff room? That's for, like, coffee and stuff. You got a trade center. There we go. This will allow us to do the things that we need to do as far as that goes. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Nice little snap points. We've got our trade center up now. And then our research center. And then a workshop. Now we can see what other people have built. Uh, so what you can do is once you have built something in this game, you can actually upload it to the workshop and allow other people to play with your creations. Um, so if you're the type that's not incredibly super duper creative, you can do that kind of stuff to um, be able to play and just use other people's things. So we finally got, now we can trade for different animals. And I want a lion. So that's what we need to find. We got lots of African wild dogs. Animal trade center. Animal markets. Um, exhibit trading. Ooh, interesting. So there's going to be all the little frogs and stuff like that. Now if we were to go to blueprints, we can actually go to the Steam Workshop and see what some of the other people have uploaded. I don't know, it's pretty cool in my opinion. 
But anyways, let's let's get things a roll in here. We got our handy dandy path. We're gonna go with uh, this here. No, is it this one? Yes. Link. Quit. Let's align to grid. I want to make sure that it looks good for a little while because we need to be able to make the whole entrance bit. And then now we can kind of get it moving all over the place. I don't know why it's got this weird, like, action going on here. Just want it to, like, come out straight. Interesting. It's very strange. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just do this. There we go. And we can head over to where we want to make our lion exhibits. Do something... Like this. I think I want to put it pretty close. Because, you know, we can only afford to do so much. We only got $33,000 right now. We got to kind of focus on making sure we make the best first exhibit that we can. And it can't be too big either. We need room. So what I'm thinking is we make it about this big. I feel like that's a pretty sizable lion exhibit. And then now all we need to do is uh, start building walls and stuff. What we're going to do first is habitats, heaters and coolers. We need badias. Oh, a track airlock. That's interesting. We've got red brick, corrugated. Ooh, wood logs. That sounds good to me. I think what we're going to do, we're going to follow this path with the wood logs here for a little bit. What do we want here? Flat top. Post lengths remain consistent above the ground level. Um, hmm. Glass, hollow terrain. Climb proof. Perfect. Wanted it to kind of like follow the follow the road. Does anyone have battle land? What? <laughs> How tall can this actually get? Zach Masick, thank you so much for the super chat. Super excited to see this game. I was bummed YouTube didn't give me a notification that you're streaming earlier today. There's a little something to make up for. Oh, thank you so much for the support. You're amazing. I do greatly appreciate it. I'm realizing something here. That we might not be able to do our super awesome entrance that we wanted. At least not quite right here. I guess maybe I'll start from here. Might be a good idea. That we want it to come about right here, and then we can follow the road. Snap. I want it to be able to. Ah, that's why it won't be able to. The wood can't snap on angles. I was trying to figure out why that wasn't working. We're gonna use red brick instead. And by angles, I mean it can't, like, uh, curve, what I'm trying to say. I wanted it to curve and follow the road. There we go. Now we can turn some of this into glass. Barriers, and then glass. Turn this bad boy into glass here. I like how you can just really quickly uh, change up pieces of the enclosure just by clicking on it. 
And then it'll maintain the, the style too, which is nice. Let's do another glass wall there. Then I think what we'll do, we'll make a small path that kind of follows this along this way. We need to leave room for our entrance over there still. We come back like this. And we got to make sure we have the stuff back here for the for the workers too. Come back over here and start figuring this side out. Ah! So what kind of pen do we want to make after our after our lion pen? What do you guys want to see most? And what kind of content do you want to see? Do you want to see uh, live streams or kind of like a mix of both. I'm certainly not a opposed to doing multiple forms of content for this. There we go. I think that's a, a decent pen. That's actually a lot of room. What I want to do up here is I want to make like an elevated, um, basically an, an elevated area to look down on it. And then we have our lower point too, which I think is going to look good. We could turn that into glass. And then we'll focus on making sure everything out here is super pretty and all that stuff. Obviously, once we once we get going. You want elephants? Elephants are cool. Maybe some zebras. Alright, so now what we need to focus on here is. I want to make, like, a pride rock-looking thing, too. We're going to have to find rocks and all that fun stuff. I can't get rid of those trees, but thankfully they are the right trees, I believe. But what we need to do now is get some terrain action going on, and we need to sculpt it. We need to push down. I want to create, like, a little bit of a river system through here. Let's do something like this. As long as it's smoothed out, they'll be able to swim in it. That might be too deep. Actually, that's not too bad. I do have to smooth it out, though. Flatten surface. Smooth. There we go. We should be able to put water in there. <laughs> Maybe not all the way, though. Which is not good! Not good at all, I say. Oh, we done effed up. Can we go back? <laughs> go back! Let's just go back a little bit more. There we go. I like that we could just, like, control Z our mistakes. Like, oh, we done messed up, son. We need to redo all of that. That might be a little too much. Oh, sweet baby beluga whale. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, let's try that again. Well, at least we're getting better at the sculpting. But now what we can do is maybe if we flatten it to this level. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Reset! Smooth it all out! This is, uh, this is the franchise mode. So it's not quite sandbox. It does cost us money to do all of this. Um, that is one thing we need to keep in mind. That um, we need to pay attention to our money, because if we run out of money, we are dunsies. We do need a small shelter here. I'm going to put it in the, in the back. I'm going to put it here. Do I want to put it there? There we go. Oh, I put it in the tree that I can't delete. Why can't I delete it? 
I guess there's a tree in it, so that's that's cool. Uh, do wolves next since you killed all the wolfman's pets today? I suppose we could probably manage that. Okay, before we get too crazy here, I do want to see if I can make the path that I want to do. So I want to, like, come off... Oh, God. And make stairs. Too much! Control Z! Gotta shorten that length a little bit there. Add. Shorter! And also skinnier. There we go. That's better. Get like a ramp. And then... Can we just do... Actually, this probably needs to be higher, too. Let's see if we can actually even buy Tiger. We've got African Buffalo, African Elephants. Price is $253. Make you holla. We got African Wild. We got a lot of African Wild Dogs. Literally more African Wild Dogs than anyone could ever want. <gasps> Bengal tiger. Costs 326 leaf thingies. I only have 300 of those, so we gotta figure out how to unlock more of that. Is there anything in here that costs cash? A common ostrich! <laughs> of course! So what do we got here? Quarantine. You need a quarantine. You need a vet surgery. You need a keeper hut. And... Okay, yeah. So we gotta make all that stuff still. Oh, has the stream been super duper laggy this whole time? Holy crap. Oh, uh, why? OBS, you were perfectly fine earlier, you piece of garbage. What is going on now? Reset. Hi. Excuse me, OBS. Getting, I have a hundred. Oh, that's why. I desync. OBS, you done pooping yourself now? Maybe. Okay, I think it's. I think it's good now. Sorry about that. I don't know if this is gonna actually work here. My little. My little plan. There's got to be a way to do it. Maybe we should just kind of get some animals in here. And focus on just getting stuff in here first. Um, but we do need a keeper hut. And perhaps we can put one back here. Maybe we should put one over here because then it can be used for multiple things. <clears throat> Go into our pathing here. Where'd my... It's gone! There we go. So we were using this bad boy? Where did it go? There it is. to make that? Yeah, well, okay. We're gonna go like this. And then we're gonna branch off a smaller path right here. That way it can follow this zoo exhibit around. We'll use Paddington Bone maybe to split it up. And we'll keep it the same. Relinquish your grasp on me. There we go. Come 
want to follow it nice and close. And then link it into here. Like that. There we go. That looks good. Nailed it. Got a little wonky there. And then we'll end it. And this will allow us to have a zoo enclosure, basically an enclosure on each side without having too much issues. When I hear both actual... Wait, what? Can you make a train ride around your zoo? Yes, you can, actually. Uh, in the campaign thingy we were playing earlier, I was actually... That was, like, one of the first things that I did was ride the train around. We're just working on setting up, like, the, a lot of the mandatory early stuff here. We're going to do staff path for the rest of this. I want to maybe set up, like, the vet clinic back here, too. Okay. Go any follow. Alright, so what we needed back here was a keeper hut. Which we can then hide inside of a building, too. We can actually make a custom building for this when we get a chance to. Is that a spot where people can look into it? Interesting. I don't exactly know how that's going to work. We'll have to figure it out, though. At some point. There we go. Is that bad boy like so? Then we'll have to make a little fancy building for it. Because I also want to make the vet thing back here. If I can. Ah, that actually might look nice if we do that. Yeah, that'll look really good. And then we can make it kind of like one big building. That costs a lot of money. That cost a metric buttload of monies. And then we can kind of just get this covered up a little bit. Like so. Like so. I definitely like the building in this, because you can... Like, everybody's stuff is going to look drastically different once things start happening, you know? Uh, is it this? exactly know how that's going to pan out here. But it will at some point. There. A nice, well-blended thingy, my boober. And then we could put trees and stuff around it, too, and bushes to kind of hide it even more. Okay. Quarantine. You need a quarantine. Where are we going to put that bad boy? Veterinary surgery. Quarantine. $4,000! Sweet baby Jesus. This bad boy. All the way down here. It's a let me. Can I stick it here? Stickity. I jacked up all of this down here. How do I move you? There we go. If I do that better. I gotta figure out how to get this in here without it looking terrible. There we go. All right, so there's the quarantine. And then we can obviously build all this in real quick, too. Just so it looks just a little bit better. Not a lot of bit, but a little bit is good. I just want people in here. And 
use all of our money on this garbungo without having even gotten to purchase any animals. How are we going to get people into our zoo without any animals? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't spend too much more time on the entrance then. I didn't realize how much some of this other beginner stuff was going to cost. Like just getting started stuff was going to cost. I'm, I'm glad I didn't spend like a ton of money on it. There we go. So that's that's just some entrance stuff. We're going to make all that prettier when we can. Uh, so Margaret Hawk can't find an accessible staff center. Can't find an accessible staff center. Okay, so they need the staff center. You guys are terrible. Wait. Research center small. Oh, can't find staff center with space. Staff room, veterinary surgery, uh, O'Rourke shop. Okay. Animal time. I are saying there's no path, but that might have been alerts from when I deleted them off the path. Yeah, because that's got path, 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 path. Everybody's got a path. They are just chilling there, though. Hut small. And it's zoo a Rorik shop. Okay, time to figure out what we can put in here. Other than ostriches. We might just have an ostrich army, ladies and gentlemen. We can put some buffaloes in here. We got a male buffalo, so we can breed buffaloes. Animal trade center. Maybe there's okay, so that's animal rewards. Do we have any of those? Interesting. I would like something cooler. <laughs> There's a spammer? Oh, I see him. Sorry about that, Heather. Buffaloes and a lion? Oh, we can get tortoises. Tortoises are pretty cool. The Tapir! Alright, let's go. Let's load a couple more times. Maybe we'll get lucky. We got some Pumbas! Some bears. Gems Buck! Oh, something was there. I saw it. <gasps> a Grizzly Bear! It's Lucas the Grizzly Bear! Oh, man. I want Lucas the Grizzly Bear. We got Hip Hop Anonymouses. Indian Peafowl. So they're going to be more expensive depending on their rating. We got Antelopes. Zebras. Oh, what were you? <gasps> we can have a lemur army. We got Smelly Antelopes. No leopard. There we go. Ooh, I can actually afford that snow leopard. I just want, like, a nice carnivore start off our, our little zoo here. Just your nice, friendly neighborhood carnivore. Oh, we all know your secret, Silverleaf. Ah, uh, there's the West African lion. There's our first one. But he's... I, I don't have the stuff for it. So we're going to have to work our way up to the lion. We might have to get some stinky antelopes. We've got a male and a female. We'll purchase those. This animal is being bought for cash. No conservation credits will be awarded if it's released to the wild. Okay. Did I adopt it? Give me my stinky antelope. At least we got two different kinds. What's going on, Abel? How are you doing? I know Steam was having issues. Okay, so it's waiting in the trade center. And then we got to adopt this one. Steam was, like, shut down earlier. Hopefully I don't have too much more issues. Fail. The, oh, the animals no Ah, you guys screwed me. Gems buck. 
that's no, that's the spring buck. Interesting. Somebody probably somebody else probably bought it. Oh no, I bought it. Okay. Um, so we're gonna move this bad boy here. Invalid you're an invalid destination. Or why? Location club arty. It's maybe because I didn't put a thingy maboober in yet. Uh, so let's go into our habitat barriers. We need to make a gate. So a habitat gate. A wooden habitat gate. Mayhap. Mayhap it work. Uh, is the angle to the dangle good? Okay. And then let's put some some enrichment stuff in here. Well, we need food, obviously. So food ball large. Take that bad boy right here. And then we'll do a water. Oh, Ooh, a water pipe. That seems like a smart idea. But I think we'll just do a yeah, water trough small. We'll put that bad boy right there. And maybe now we have a zookeeper. Staff. What are you? We got vendors. Oh, I deleted the fired. I don't need no vendors. No stinking vendors. Lulu, the antelope at the trade center. Okay, so we need to actually hire people. We need to hire a keeper. We'll put him back here. Huh? Then we gotta hit play. There we go. Nailed it! Let's get our stinky antelope in here now. Habitat's a one. Our first animal, ladies and gentlemen. Coming. And our second animal is now scheduled. And now we just need to get them to get their groove on. Make some babies so we don't have to buy more. That's the plan. Um, I will convert this into a lion pen, though, once we get the opportunity to. Uh, but I, I, I'm kind of thinking maybe we could put a bunch of different herbivores in here. And they might end up not being too upset at us for it, you know? Uh, let's see here. So, barriers. We need some glass walls now, baby. Boop. Boop. Perfecto. So, what I want to figure out is how I can make an elevated walkway. going on there are noises is that my my gems buck you need a staff center you're a staff center okay we gotta make a stupid staff center facilities this is a staff room though keeper hut animal exhibits guest facilities utilities Maybe that is what we need, though. I'm just going to put it in and hope that that's all they desire from me at the moment. We're going to put it down here. All tucked away, nice and sneaky-like. They'll never know they didn't have one. Are you happy now? You've got a staff center. Oh, we probably need power, too. Oh, dude. I didn't even consider that. You need a transformer. Yep, that's exactly what we didn't do. Oh, my Lanta. This, that'll power that too, right? Okay, now we have power there. And do we have power there? Electricity? Okay, we're good now. <laughs> Hey, Mark, what's going on? Okay, everybody's happy now. We're good to go. Now we need some donation bins. 
So I believe that's going to be under facilities. You can do that and then do a donation. I'm going to put one za. We'll put it there. There. And we'll put one yeah. Because that is the only way we can make money right now. You bring in my animal, dude? Like, when are you going to play Red Dead on Xbox? Never. Never again. Never again! I'd rather be shot in the face. And I don't want to be shot in the face. Uh, so we can do research now, too. Vet oh, we don't have any vets. <laughs> Oh, so we can research more of the Indian theme to unlock more of that. We got scenery and stuff like that, and that's kind of what we've been building. So these are the, all the different things we can research. The train! Ooh. We need a mechanic. So, let's see here. We go to Zul, F, mechanic, one, smelly little mechanic. Just chilling like a villain. Is there a zoo open? <laughs> Zoo entrance. Visitors last year. Zero! Z Z Zero! Where are my animals? Oh, it's probably because I didn't have any power, so they couldn't uh, actually deliver my animal. Your stored animals, too. I guess the appeal is okay. They need to get some animals up in here, though. So I figure, let's uh, while we're waiting for that, let's try and do some terraforming again. And see if we can make that water area right here. If we wanted. Oh, really? <laughs> Just a little bit of water. <laughs> I wanted more water than that. Demand water. I guess it's going to be need to be much, much deeper than I anticipated. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now I got my understanding gas going. Tyler, welcome back. We just click higher up to get the water higher. We're learning. We're evolving. There we go. That's a little bit better. Much better. my animals would get put in there. What you doing, hombre? It's not working. Interesting. We have one star, like a boss. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Unless it needs to be, unless the, this isn't high enough, perhaps. So let's double click this. Oh, what would I do? We'll see. There we go. So if we click that and then we go all the way around, the enclosure might not be tall enough. So let's make this four meters. Barrier status 
There we go. We've got weird noises again. I think that was just me. Okay. You think you need one of those really big doors? Let's see. Barriers, gates. Guest gate, wooden habitat, wooden track, airlock. No? No. That's an interesting way that gate gets put in. Should be fine. Let's try and put them in now again. Move. Maybe I need to do it closer to the gate. Let's buy a different animal. <laughs> An African elephant. Ah. Maybe it's the caretakers that bring them in. You're right. That's a good point. So let's do... Hire a caretaker. Let's just put one of those bad boys in. We'll just hire one of each person. Security. He's running somewhere. And we'll get a vet in as well. All right, he definitely looks like he's he's on a mission. I'm over the moon with this job. Yep, going to the trade center. Okay, I thought the zookeepers were the ones that did it. Interesting. Learn something new every day. We need more of those though. We should finally start getting some visitors after this. And then we can kind of worry about our main entrance and stuff like that. There it is. Our first critter. What else can go in with one of these? So let's see here. We go into our animals. Oh, he's bringing out both at once. What a beast. The African buffalo. I wonder if they could be friends with Gems Buck. Are we going to here? Interspecies enrichment. African buffalo will be enriched by sharing their habitat with these animals. The ostrich, elephant, warthog, zebra, giraffe. Stinky antelopes! Perfect! <gasps> God! Baby, come back! Now, will the stinky antelopes be enriched by having it? So let's see if they're pissed off or not. Oh, oh, you know what? This is, like, perfect for them, except for they don't have an enrichment. So now we just gotta get some toys up in here, and they'll be good to go. Uh, so let's get, uh, uh... Oh, it's gonna have water typed in. That uh, makes a sense. Uh, now, if we go to our Zoopedia, they will inform us of the things that we need to enrich... Oh. Food enrichment. Research this species to unlock its facts. The stinky antelope... Okay, so she is uh, researching it. Is it a thing? Is it happening? Research. No vet assigned. Oh, did I? I hired a vet, didn't I? Lost in the sauce. Eh. So, is it under the research thing here? Can I click on it? The trade center. I guess we can go into zoo. Research. Pinky antelope. And a reed. There we go. She's not a very good. Scientist. But she's the only scientist we have. So now we should we go and choose the mechanic stuff. I want to research more of the India theme. There we go. 
Maybe we can add more researchers too. We probably need <gasps> our first guests. Hi, would you like to see my stinky antelopes? They, <gasps> I have a lot of guests. Oh my God, it's not even my first guests. Oh, they're giving us money. They like the stinky antelopes. Wait. <laughs> You'll take care of my animals? I need somebody to come take care of my animals. I'm stuck, did. There we go. Just want to delete that since we're not using it right the meow. Come here, stinky antelopes. How long is it going to take us to unlock their enrichment stuff? Probably like 10 forevers, right? Let's see if we can get some at least enrichment animals in here. The Elefante. I should have just purchased those water buffalo while I could. The water buffalo. Ooh, we can get one ostrich. That's a male ostrich. Opt. I want those Bengal tigers. We've got 101 people all up in our stuff. We need a female ostrich now. Oh, Heather, oh, you have a good night. Valetha, welcome back. The animal shop is having issues again? Yeah, I mean, it's the beta. I did notice that it was having some issues, though. Ooh, warthog. We got a male and a female warthog here. Thankfully, they don't cost $15 billion. One billion dollars. Gems buck. I want to stick a bear in there. Indian peafowl. Okay, let's uh, stick our new animals in there. What's a the warthog? And put this bad boy here. And then our ostrich. Well, let's make sure the ostrich uh, still does enriching things to these particular animals here. So if we go to the stud book. <laughs> the stud book. So they do like ostriches and they do like warthogs. So that's good. We can really get some kind of fancy action going on up in here. As far as the animals go. You spam click the female pee fell and I got four at the same time. Oh my god. I mean, that's kind of cool though. Where art thou, water buffalo? Baby, come back! The Bengal tigers were so close. We just need to make 15 billion more dollars. You a female ostrich? What I wouldn't do for a female ostrich. There we Ooh. Ooh. A zebra. Give it to me. There's a lion. 328 of these tokens is what we need. We've got the antelope. Hey, your first warthog's in. Hopefully they don't kill things. Look at the lemur's just like, oh god! It's a trap! Okay, we need a. Wait, we bought a female zebra, so now we need a male zebra. If we can find one, that would be amazing. Uh, the beta, you can get into the beta if you pre order the game. Oh, we got a timber wolf there. One zebra, please. Grapeed, preferably. With a cute face. I can make some zebra babies. Would like the most stud muffinist, stud, stud muffiniest zebra ever? And warthog. I think we're gonna find one. It is not our lucky day. Oh, oh it pooped itself. 
Let's make sure these animals are indeed happy. Warthog seems pretty happy. We just don't have any, you know, enrichment for it yet. Habitat. There we go. Now it's pissed off. Terrain is now severely inappropriate. We need more short grass and less long grass. Uh, so if we actually, if we go into the terrain button here, we can do that. We can just make this short. And we can actually change the color of the grass too, which is nice. Wait, no. Don't mind me. Just slowly losing my mind. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. That warthog is so happy. Look at all the room I have. I'm a warthog. Look at that ostrich just going ham. Hello, Fluffy. How are you doing? Glad to see you here. Right, now we just need some soil up in here. Some soil in here, yeah, like so. Maybe spread it around this just a little bit more. Kind of get it spread out a little bit. Some of us there. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. And um, let's see what kind of plant life they like. We can get the umbrella thorn and the mulula tree. Umbrella. We can spruce this up a little bit. Hey. Make it all nice and fancy. Too much coverage. The antelope was very unhappy with that. And we were at the very edge of coverage. What are you pissed off about? Plants! Coverage is too high. And delete this one. There we go. Perfect. And what about the warthog? The warthog is so happy. I mean, look at this thing just cruising along. I'm a warthog! I'm a, in real life, vet tech. Let me care for the smellies. <laughs> My stinky antelopes. <laughs> okay, so we need to make some money now. And you know how we make money? We put in shops. That's how we're going to make some money up in here. So we need some guest facilities. And uh, FF Star, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for the super chat. I do greatly appreciate it. Trust me, if I could let you pay for... Or, or, <laughs> if I could let you take care of the smellies, I would. What I want to do... I kind of want to make like a food court area. We can start making some moolah. We also need toilets. Let's see what they're super upset about. Yeah, they're upset about food and education. We need to educate them. That was the point of all this stuff. So maybe I should focus on finishing this out real quick. Um, but what we need to do for this... Enter group edit. I wanted to put uh, facilities in here. I want the information center. Is that it? No. Oh. Actually, before we do that, let's focus on... You know what? I don't really like the way it looks. We could make something better. It's not pleasing to the eyes like I wanted it to be. There's a faster way to do this, I know. But I'm dumb. And I don't know how to do it yet. 
But I will one day, trust me. Uh, but if you are enjoying this, watching me struggle to learn how to play the game... <gasps> the inspector has arrived. Oh, no. There is no place for these people to poop. The inspector is going to be very, very upset. Do -do 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 -do. Inspector gadget. Do -do 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 -do. Boop -boop. I'm going to get fired so hard. Do -do 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 -do. All right, let's put the Zizel's a bad boy a little right here, like a soul. And then we'll go like a Zeus. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Maybe we go like a Zeus. And then like a Zeus. And what I want to do is allow them to get the information booth right here. We'll go like that. And then we can snap in the information booth here. Tag struggles are super entertaining. I'm glad that my suffering can entertain you. Watch me suffer. Enjoy it. While you can. And then we're going to put some um, shop here and a shop here. And then we're going to do the same thing here. We can get four shops up in here. Up in here. Y'all gonna make me lose my cool up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. And then I want to put a toilet there. And a toilet here. And I think that'll look kind of good, right? So we got to go to the facilities. Information. And ta. I want it to auto snapping. Not quite snapping where I wanted it to, but I think we're gonna have to deal with it. We are running out of money, but it's okay. It's super awesome and perfectly okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. Like a soul. Now we can get some food up in here. So now at least we can make some money. There we go, yeah. That is nice. So let's get some drink stalls. What do we want? The gulpy soda. And we'll get food. Chief Beef up in here. Chief Beef. Looney Blue. Oh, we got no money. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we have run out of cash. <laughs> we have 6,000 doll hairs left. That is not enough to do anything. I just want to make a pathway. Hey there. No, I just want you to do that. Can you do that for me? No? Okay. Fine! Game. Game! Game! No! Bad! Oh, I'm gonna murder your face! Not enough for a toilet? Nope. They're just not gonna pee. This is a no pee zone. There we go. All right, that's just going to have to do. Oh, it looks like hammered But What happened? Oh, God. You know what? I know what to do. Be gone. Be gone. I know how to fix this. Line to the grid. Line to the grid. FF Star, I'd give more if I could, but my smelly is 1,400 pounds and eats like a horse. Especially the other is grumpy, a husky boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> FF Star, thank you so much. Trust me, that is plenty. Thank you so much for the support. 
I do greatly appreciate it. This is not aligning to anything, by the way, game. Maybe try that again. Selecting grid. Yes. Oh. Did this, sir? Oh my god. Control Z! I'm struggling way more than I should with this right now. I don't know why. Not letting me select the grid anymore. I just wanted this to not look like poo. That's so much to ask for. Ask supports curved. There's a lot of different little settings in there. That's pretty cool. Tunneling. Game hates me right now. It's gonna work. Okay, I'm just gonna have to take it out farther, I guess. I didn't want to. But it made me. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me! I just want to feed my people with the things that I purchased without it looking like a pile of garbage. Fine. I, I, I give up. I give up! <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. Total profit loss, negative 150. Uh, we're going to be positive one of these days. Take the shops away and then do the path, but I can't because I lose some of the money when I do that. Is it, I guess I could move them. Ah, it's fine. We'll fix it later. I'll do it on this one. So let's do the path now. I just wanted to, like, make the square path, and it just wasn't giving me the option to snap it to a grid again. It's still not doing it. Selecting grid. There. Oh. I have the right one selected. Two. There we go. Kind of wanted to make like a food court. There. Ahaha! Ah now, can I get you to snap here without making me lose my mind? It's a Christmas miracle. Okay. That's good. And then delete this so I can make this not look like absolute dog poopy. Gone, foul beast. There we go. And then all we need to do is just move this stuff here. You're going to go over here now. Oh, it's going to try and vex me at the end here. You see this? It wants to destroy my soul. Line to the greed. I'll go one farther out just to appease the pathing gods. Y'all gonna make me lose my cool. Up in here, up in here. Mm, oh, we did it! 
is now the fluff labs. Perfect. Holy fixed. Okay, are we making money yet? Hey! We're making... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. We're negative again. It's fine. It's not a major emergency. It's a major emergency. All right, how are our animals doing? Are they chilling like villains over here? We need more. More animals mean more entertainment. Which means more money. <gasps> Zebra. Yes, I was excited about my zebra, okay? We still need a male one, and we need to make them get their groove on. Also, what happened to our science stuff? Research level one. Did we unlock the gassy antelope toys? I think we did. Habitats. Enrichment. Mr. Gassy Antelope. Go into your Zoopedia. What do we know? Research status. Hey. We need, we need more. More researching, please. <clears throat> then we can speed this up a little bit. Hopefully nothing will die. I mean, everything seems pretty happy in here. Our ostrich is chilling. Ostrich is happy. Single, but happy. Except for the, you know, the whole enrichment debacle that we've got going on right now. We need more studying. Was your computer twice? Oh, man. Archanella, I'm sorry to hear that. That is woefully unfortunate. At least our people are happy. That's pre Oh, I forgot toilets! They're gonna poop themselves! Oh, no! Um, let's select this building. Do I have enough for a toilet? How much is a toilet? It's probably like $15 billion. It's close enough to $15 billion. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh my god. Enter group edit. Oh my god. Look at how much this costs. It's so much money. Alright, where's the poop shoot? One poop shoot coming at you. Is it actually snapping? How is it? Odd. Okay. Does seem a tad odd, but um, I think we'll be okay. Put a wall in there. Yeah. Yeah. Does this fit in here? Can they still get in if I do that? Probably not. I think we just kind of got to deal with how that looks. At least they can poop in peace now. There's no amount of money too high for a toilet or a toilet paper. Whoa! Oh! It's a freaking warthog explosion! What happened? Oh my god! There's so many! I turn away? We got 15 billion babies! Holy Jesus! Can't find an accessible staff center with space. What the hell even is a staff center? Isn't it over here? Oh, it's on... Oh, Jesus. Well, that's why. The staff center's on fire! Okay, pigs. What happened? Why is there so many of you all of a sudden? We got Walilda! <laughs> Walida! Who are you? That's why you're so happy. You're just getting your groove on 24-7, aren't you? Like, I'm banging this warthog. There's only one, so... I'm scoring out warthogs over here. This zebra is like, I am covered in pigs. This is ridiculous. Last meal quality. Animal's last meal was m of moderate quality. Interesting. You uh, yes, I can sell the pigs for money now. V 
the research is complete. Ah, oh, yes! The, the stinky antelopes. We have researched them. Uh, you know what? We should probably research the warthogs since, you know, um, we have like 50 of them now. And then they're only going to make more. <laughs> we got herbivore pellets, so that's cool. Hey, look at them oink. Hold on. Can we look at one of you? Can I not click on you for some reason? Come here, pig! Let me look at your little pig face. Stop it! The door. Look. Listen to it oink. Put on, put on the contraceptive. Okay, you're, you're probably right. Maybe I should. No, I want more pigs. I want pigs for days. We need gems back. Well, let's check out what's going on with our gems back. I wonder if they've gotten their groove on yet. Have you gotten your groove on? Look at the poop sucker over there. Sucking up the poop. How, how much money are we making now? Oh, none. Oh, God. Adult population to size 41% immunity, fertility 50%. Appeal. Social is good. Also, I named our park Club Artie, by the way, if you guys were curious about that. I don't know if anybody was. Um, I think mm, maybe... Maybe not. Uh, money. How much does it cost... So purchases, ongoing expensive staff. The so staff wages is actually the majority of our current cost. That's still on fire. I wonder if it's because it doesn't have a service road. That's got to be it. Um, who oh got path? Um, yep, I'm dumb. Another dumb, <laughs> Another dumb happens. Welcome to Club Dumb, is what I should have called this place. Should have been called Tag's gonna kill a bunch of animals and set the whole park on fire. Constructed my butt. Move it then. Uh... Your face is obstructed. Don't want that up. Want to make sure it connects to a road this time. Into the balls. This whole area back here is just not. It's not good. It's not good. Right, we're just gonna have to do it. Everything's fine. It's all part of the plan. What's going on? Laura Jorgensen, welcome back. Long time no see. I hope you're doing well. Nice. We have too many pigs in a fire? You can never have too many pigs. Worst comes to worst, you got Pumba bacon, okay? This guy must be a stud muffin. Can we, can we look at him? Is this the boy? This is the girl. You pregnant again? <laughs> Swear to God. Fox animal. All vets. Um, I don't know. I don't think I've researched how to keep prevent them from, you know, banging twenty four seven. Is this the male? Are you a stud muffin? Size fertility 66%. Compare mates. Asia, huh? Remove the kitchen. Oh, look at that. We're actually making. Oh, we're making decent, decent money now. It's once we put in the bathrooms, everybody was fine with our zoo. This is all we were missing was the was the poop areas. All right, we're doing good now. We're making some money. It's all thanks to the Pumbas. Moan and Pumba. 
dooping for the rest of your days. Yeah. Like these? I do want to put another toilet in, just to be safe. Brock, welcome to the stream. I do hope you enjoy it. Thank you for coming to hang out with our pig army. Let's see if we can put some more animals in here. We still need an ostrich. Maybe we shouldn't do super speed while we're doing that, huh? <gasps> oh, they're both females. This one is Salma, 9.2 years old. We're going to get this one because it's cheaper and younger. Oh, size gene. It's very small. That's why it was cheaper. I don't know how old they live, but... Hopefully long enough to make us some money. Stream's not over. We're here. We're streaming. We're having fun. We got gassy antelopes, 15 pigs. Life is good right now. We're about to have another ostrich. If I can find one that I can afford, that's a male. Wait, do we need a male or do we need a female? We're going to buy a male. Oh my god, it's tiny! We're going to call it Tiny Tim. Oh, it can get sick too. Oh, we should probably not buy that one. It's got bad genes. I hear them saying you. I feel like somebody pooped in front of them. We need a lot of ostriches to make angry birds. You're right. Gems buck! <gasps> a grizzly bear. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm going to buy it. And a female? Oh, it's on, like, grizzly bear Donkey Kong. We're going to make a whole new grizzly bear pen. Oh, its jeans are so... Oh. Oh. She can't get preggers. I mean, she could... We'll see what happens. <laughs> we got pigs for days. Did we squirt out more? No, we didn't. Okay, we're fine. I was a little concerned there for a second. Favreau, you need to keep an eye on the alerts on the left. Otherwise, your zoo is going to explode. Oh, yeah, I've already looked at these. Um, power source failed. Is that power source still out? God. All mechanic. I've got... Maybe I need to hire another mechanic. We've called like 15 billion mechanics for this. Um, da -da 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 staff. Fix it. <laughs> there. We officially called the mechanic this time. We, we've just paid for another one. Um, okay. So once that's fixed, then we should be good. I do want to, however, check and make sure this is... Okay, that's all powered. We're good there. That's all powered. We're good there. And... Low welfare with the ostrich. That's because of the food. They'll be fine now. Uh, facility inaccessible. Chief beef is inaccessible? Oh? Chief beef, what happened, man? She's like, they can't get my delicious meat. They can't touch my meat. And this says, the gulpy gulpy says it's inaccessible. What the crap is going on here? No, they got hamburgers. Look, it's in their fist. Something is off with the pathing here. Hold on, we're gonna, or these, is that an old alert? All right, we're going to delete the pathing here just to see what's going on. And align to grid. Here. You want to see my 15 billion pigs? They're adorable. A wild distraction appeared. It's super effective. Uh, but da 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 da. Gonna delete all of this. Uh, 
Oh, I broke it. Then... Like a saw. Then like a saw. Maybe now it'll say it's connected. Because it is! Still saying it's inaccessible. Staff building scenery rating is a 66%. I have sold a whopping two hamburgers. I want my Ashley back. Ashley back ribs. Why do you have because it's a thing. Okay. And they want a tree. I was told that they desire tree. So they get tree. Hopefully that has helped the scenery here. 80%! Nailed it! No vendor. Oh, maybe that's what it is. What is going- Am I stupid? I am so dumb. Hire a vendor. Get in there! Vend things! <laughs> Open for business. Can't find accessible staff center with space. Okay. Deep well, you two. Fail. Sure. Okay. <laughs> it was the, the bedtime for the kiddos. Okay, uh, we need another staff center, so we're going to make one back here. Next to the quarantine area. Now that we're actually making money, I feel like I can make some staff room here. We're just going to have to blend it in a little bit better when we get the opportunity to. No, 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 no. Excuse me. There we go. That'll have to do, donkey. Animal starving. Oh, sweet baby beluga whale. Keeper, we're just going to stick you right in here. There we go. The only reason it's starving is because of the issue that we had with the whole uh, fire debacle. We also need more feeding areas. So let's do a food bowl large over here. And then we'll do another one over here. Since we have got multiple animals in here now, I feel like we're going to need more of these. Stupid protesters, get out of here. Just trying to live my life. Oh. There. It's beautiful. Now we gotta find a place for our bears. <laughs> Which is why we made this lovely area over here. I'm going to have to clean all this up at some point. I'll probably do all like all the cleaning and like some additional decorating like behind the scenes and stuff. And in like recorded videos. I feel like this is a pretty good spot for a bear. Because we got two bears. That need a loving bear home. Let's go into barriers. 
Yeah, there are um there are protesters in my area at the moment. Look at that ostrich going ham for that food. What's this? The facility is not inaccessible. I swear to God, I'm going to lose my... Y'all going to make me lose my cool. Can we get it to turn here good enough? Ooh, just barely. Right, so this is going to be our bear area. Oh, that freaking thing is out of... It, it exploded again. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. What horrible? Is it fixed? No. No, it's not on fire. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was on fire again, but it was just... It was the heat coming off of it. That's cool. There we go. Bear enclosure definitely needs to be bigger. Much, much taller. We'll do four meters again. I hope four meters is enough. We're going to find out. If a bear escapes, it escapes, you know? What's the worst that can happen? Somebody dies? Oh, no. Finally got that Red Dead Redemption 2 zoo update. Oh, yeah. Best update in the world. Oh my god, I spent all my cash somehow. Are we negative? <gasps> oh god! It's the protesters! Or is it all the pigs? I don't know. Right, what are they upset about? Hunger? It's because they can't freaking get any food. Oh, we're selling burgers. Low on cash. Yeah. Yep. Thanks for pointing that out. Oh my god. What, did a protester get eaten by a bear or something? We need another vendor? Oh yeah, we need a vendor. on here somebody eat my burgers you know what maybe we're losing so much money i don't even know what we did we went from making a bunch i think it's because we were losing people because they can't eat I'm just going to move this and see if it fixes it. <clears throat> It'll be a, just a temporary fix, hopefully. Beef, beef. Beef, beef is still inaccessible. Got to be a glitch. Remember the notifications on... I'm, I'm clicking on... I, I'm literally clicking on the notifications. Interesting. Um, so we've got donation jars going. We don't have any protesters anymore, so I think that was the whole issue. Oh, yes. You wanted to see the baby piggies. Click! There we go. And it oinks all cute, too. Okay. Who wants to hear the piggies oink? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Little baby Pumbas. Oil it! Oh, God! The pooper's broken! Our zoo's about to explode, guys. 
This, oh my god. Okay, he fixed it. Thank god. Last thing we need is the place being overflown with poop. Nature. Free. There we go. Now we're making some money from Chief Beef. This is a disaster right now. An absolute disaster. Alright, we're going to put some more donation bins around. Maybe that'll help us make some more money. The team. Donation. <laughs> put it here. Just in case. And then also, we need donation booths here. There. Now that they can view them there. Now we gotta turn this into glass. And, uh, Favreau and King Grey, thank you both so much for the super chats. I do uh, appreciate it. What kind of word even is this? Appreciate it. Thank you both so much. Uh, Habitat. Area. Become like glass. So you can look at a bear in the face. Well, this pen is that is that is small. <laughs> I didn't realize how small it was until like right now. But it is very small. We need to fix that. Are we making money yet? Okay. Whew. I think what we'll do is this. We properly utilize this room as much as possible. That should be... That's a more sizable bear enclosure. Ah, much better. Okay, we're good now. Okay, so now all we need is a gate in here. Habitat. Oh my god, what the crap is going on here? Excuse me? Yeah, I guess. A little weird. Oh, stop. Bad touch. A dangerous animal has escaped! What dangerous animals do I have? Boomba! Boomy has escaped! It's a dangerous animal! <laughs> it's a little baby piggy got out! <laughs> run, piggy, run! The most dangerous animal in the history of animals. Oh, we're losing money like crazy. Hold on. We got to emergency capture it. <laughs> the most dangerous pig in the world. Take the crapper, but you'll never take our freedom. True. I'll never take our freedom. You can take my crapper, but you'll never take my freedom. Would like to make this door bigger, please. Our nation is going on here. You guys, you gotta keep in mind as well that this is, in fact, a beta. So, um... There's going to be some technical difficulties at some, some points in time. Um, and we're just going to have to accept our fate. And some issues are just bound to happen. But then we can fix them. I do like that system there, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I know the zoo is low on cash. And by low on cash, I mean we have none! At all! We're about to spend this so we can put our bears in here and pray to Bear Jesus that um, that it makes the zoo happy and makes some money. Because if it doesn't, 
screwed. Dangerous animal has escaped. Again? How? Is it a little baby poo it piggy again? Oh, it got put away already. Cool. They captured it. It's okay. You have negative 34k. You're doing good. Oh my god. It's all Pumbaa's fault. It is. It, it is for a fact. 100% Pumbaa fault. Patat bedding large. That doesn't look very large at all. Extra large. There we go. Endala make you holla. What? what? Too many animals in one pen? It's a possibility. We do have a lot of pigs in here. I think they just keep, keep hanging out near the gate. They just like to be free. The Pumbas like to be free. Oh my god. Pumba, stop it! <laughs> Means no worries. Oh, our first bear! So pretty. Hello, Mr. Bear. Mrs. Bear? I don't know. I did not mean to assume your bear gender, but you are a magnificent creature. Believe it. Oh my god. Okay, so temperature is hot as balls. Okay, so we need... Oh god, we need all sorts of stuff in here. Um, plants. Terrain. Animal needs less long grass. You got it. We need some soil, so let's put it in here. We'll do regular grass. It does not like long grass. I'll tell you what. Long grass is a nope nope for this bear. In honor, in honor of Bungalus, the new milk. What a cre a cre <laughs> that like button. So it. Oh my god! No dutters. Bad. Thank you so much for the Corgi Booty Shake, Dutters. I do greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're a scholar and a gentle Dutter. We got two bears. One cup. Tag, have you watched It Chapter 2 of the movie? No, I have not. I have not, actually. Boombas keep escaping. This is a major, major, major issue. Also, I don't exactly... Oh, wow. I have to do it outside of the pen, too, to get it to lower. Interesting. Uh, and Laura, thank you so much for the super chat. Dutters, thank you for the super chat. And Favreau, how is the animal research going? I don't know. I've got so many issues right now, I can't even think about animals or their research. Oh my god. You got nothing but disasters right now. It is just one massive disaster after another. Can't figure out how to get the... We need less grass short. We need more rock. We need to actually get some, like, rock cave action going on, which I want to build up over here. Kind of build this in with rocks. Maybe we'll put some over here, too. There we go. That we go. Oil action going on up in here. Woo! Okay, bears are a little more happy. Now they need food. We got no money. No money. At all. Put some bear food here. Then a water trough. Over here. We still haven't escaped. Oh, Lulu's got low welfare. Last meal quality was low. Okay. I think we need another zookeeper. But you know what? We are losing money so very quickly that it doesn't matter right now. Habitats, we need donation bin. 
the most important thing right now. A way of donating. To the land of the bears. People don't even come out this far. Hey, how did a pig jump the fence? Did you see that? That pig jumped the fence. How is this possible? That is a glitch. That pig... J that is the Zeus of pigs. That's impossible. How the hell did that happen? Oh yeah, that water is dirty. Oh, oh my god. All right, so temperature is too hot. So we need some coolers in here. Habitat. So we need a cooler. Oh my god. Yep, it is hot as balls in here. I have no money. Ain't no money. Anywhere. Money anywhere. Oh no. Oh no. It's like, I hate this tree. <laughs> now we need some taiga stuff. I don't have any money for it. Somebody please look at my bears. <laughs> Bungalus, nice. You got tacos? Quick, use the money cheat. Oh, look at that. We're so close to making money. And by close, I mean nowhere near making any kind of money. Anywhere. <gasps> we made money. Please buy more burgers. Stop protesting the burger stand. What did the burger stand ever freaking do to you? Can I just murder them? Like, is that a thing that we could just do? Because it would make me really happy if I could just, you know, stab him in the face. Mind your own business. I just want to snap things to you, please. I need to make it prettier. Hey, Hunter, what's going on, man? Long time no see. How are you doing? Just got back from visiting another member of Tag Nation, Lady Boyd and me. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. Nice. Congratulations. That's where you've both been. Click on the people to check what their needs are. Oh, they need to poop and they need to pee. Dangerous animal has escaped. Oh my god, Sir Pigglesworth, come back! No! I don't want to emergency capture you! Excuse me, Sir Pig. And Favreau and Hunter Hayes, thank you both for the super chats. I greatly appreciate it. I'm just trying to refresh things here. My inter or my stream side died on me here. I don't know what happened. There we go. Is there a way to sell animals? Yeah, we're making money now though. Like we're making a, a good amount of money now. But things things are looking up. Just Sir Pigglesworth has escaped. Sell him? Be someone else's problem? I don't think we can sell him until we capture him. Which we'll do now. Okay, uh, we gotta sell some of these pigs. Oh my god, yeah, we got so many pigs, and they're gonna just bang. Send animal storage in this trade center? Yeah. They were about to get their groove on. You could tell. You could see it in their eyes. You could see it in their eyes. Really broke down. Gonna make more pigs until they explode. 
Or what facility broke down? The toilet again? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, so the nutrition is low. Maybe what we need now is a secondary uh, keeper hut. Or maybe we need another keeper. I don't want to spend more money right now. Are we making... Are we, uh, we're still making money. They like the bears. The bears are pretty cool. The bears are where it's at right now. <laughs> we need some plants to make the bears happier. So while I have money, we're going to put some spruce trees up in here. Up in here. Hopefully it likes the spruce. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it, lo it loves the spruce tree. Short one. Put a broken Himalayan in here. Oh, nope, it freaking hates it. Of course it would hate it. There. Not like I got all this money in the world to spend. Champion moss. I just need some rocks. <gasps> Rock. There we go. I want to make like a thing. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. A thing. The stream died. We lost like 200 people in a matter of like minutes. We got Taiga rocks. That's what we needed. Kind of wanted to like build this in a little bit and make it look all sorts of fancy and stuff. these rocks aren't horribly expensive. And just make it look a little bit fancier. We have a big ass rock. That's a tiny rock. Like a big rock, but not. different rocks. So little time. I just want a giant rock. I think it's like, this is all you're gonna get, homie. This is the biggest rock we got. tree in the back, I think, might not look terrible. Sure. We're gonna go with that. Put some trees back there. Ooh, the Douglas fir pine. There we go. Kind of just foresting this up a little bit. Nothing too crazy at the moment. I like this other big rock back there. Delete that one. Ooh, there is Tiger Rocks, like, if we typed it in, so that's good. Then we can kind of put that bad boy up here, maybe. The touching. That's a perfect stack. We need something over here to get people interested in coming over here. So maybe some information stuff. Low welfare. 
gardening. So facilities. We have like uh, bins, benches. Ah, yes, garbage bins might not be a bad idea. And it's zoo recycling. Nobody recycles. Just kidding. <laughs> I just realized that we are like already two hours in as well. We're gonna have to make this a lot prettier. I don't know if the save is gonna actually carry over. Utilities, small animal exhibits, guest facilities, merchandise, finance. <gasps> oh, drink stalls. Oh, <laughs> make some money from the ATMs. There. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, Hunter Hayes, thank you for the super chat, man. Thank you for creating this amazing community to give me the opportunity to meet someone and be happy. Hey. I'm happy for you both. That's awesome. I wish you both the best. Thank you for the super chat. We've had a couple, uh, a couple people get married from the community. Although they don't particularly hang out. With us anymore. Hashtag abandon. So there's supposed to be some information stuff in here. Ah, there we go. So, an, ooh, an ambiance speaker. That could be interesting. Maybe we could put some bear noises on there. Oh. So, birds of the jungle. Insects. Jungle rain. Uh, honey. Good. Thank you. And then Habitat e uh, Education Board. That bad boy right here. I don't know if it's actually doing anything. Oh, we can get a music speaker. Oh, I'm out of money. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let me put on some ba some ambiance. Puts on bear mating noises. Perfect. Perfect. Um, but I do realize that we are now over two hours. Um, so we did <laughs> we didn't make the lion pen like we wanted to. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to record an episode where I actually spend a lot of time making all of this prettier and better and start making money and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to stream and learn all of this at the same time and pay attention to chat and, and all that stuff. But I'm having a lot of fun. And trust me, we're going to get much, 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 much better at making all this stuff. Um, so I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I do appreciate the support. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I'll see you in the next one.